I started the Community Portrait Project as kind of an outgrowth of a commission job I was doing for Hugh Halter here at the Post. So I started doing these eight foot tall, you know, massive scaled uh, historic portraits. Um, and while I was in the middle of painting them, I thought, you know, isn't it interesting I'm painting these portraits of people that should have been commemorated long ago and never were, and they're not alive to see that they're being honored in this way. And so I thought, I really want to paint some people that are still living that do great things and are really not getting much in terms of media attention. In fact, most of them are unknown people. Some people inspired me just because I loved the way they looked. And the way they looked wasn't necessarily traditionally beautiful or movie star handsome. I just liked the energy in their face. So I would have people come to my studio and I would take 30, 40, 50 photos of them from every conceivable angle so that when they left my studio, I had a fully informed awareness of the structure of their face from any angle. And then while I would take the photos, I would ask them questions. And as I asked them questions and listened to them, I started getting just a feel for their character. And I sort of made mental notes about their body language, the energy that they had when they talked to me, the kind of things that they talked to me about. And by the time they left, I, I felt like I had some insight into not only just what they looked like by studying their face, but also sort of what was on the inside too. And so when I would start each painting, I would sort of write down notes from my impressions that I got from them when I was talking and listening to them talk too. And that guided me to a large degree in terms of sort of the kind of energy that I tried to capture in the painting. My, my goal sort of was to, how do I show these people that they're being seen? That, that their good works are not going unnoticed. Every face kind of told a story, and I think I, I oftentimes talk about how, how beautiful all of the people were I painted. Uh, the, the beauty I'm speaking of is really something that is, is within. And it's, it's a complicated beauty. It's based on the capacity we have to be both confident and be insecure simultaneously. Um, to be strong and yet willing to admit we're weak. So I see some of the same struggles, victories, all of those things in, in the models. My goal was, you know, not only to acknowledge these folks, but also my hope was that somebody seeing these paintings would see these folks, read a little bit about them and think, I don't have to make big, important moves to make the community a better place. I can do small little things. Maybe I should be doing something like this too.